Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Red Dead Redemption 2. And I wanted to share with you guys how to kill the legendary fox. He is a white fox. He's got a white coat. He's fairly easy to find. Uh, he's located just north of Rhodes, southeast of the Matic Pond, and west of the Kamasa River, as you guys will see on the map. You can see where he's at. He's located out in the middle of the woods. Like I said, he's got a white fur coat, so he's not too difficult to find. However, there are a lot of trees and shrubbery around, uh, so finding these clues might be a little bit challenging. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into these clues. So the first clue is going to be located right in the middle of the woods. Uh, you can't miss it. It's right in the middle at the very bottom where the two hills meet. Um, it's actually going to be fox dung. Once you inspect the fox dung, your second clue is going to be located northwest. You're going to want to head northwest about 50 yards. Uh, and the clue is in between a group of trees. There's about three trees around it. So this one's not too difficult to find. Uh, and the second clue is actually broken sticks. Now, once you investigate the broken sticks, you're going to want to head southwest to the top of the hill. This clue can be a little bit challenging to find because it's just behind a tree on the edge of the forest. It took me a little bit to find. Um, but if you head up the ridge, up that hill there, and you turn around, you guys will see the clue is actually floating. The, the yellow dust is floating behind one of the trees trees and it's actually fur that's located right there next to that tree it's it's one of the trees that's right on the edge of the forest at the top of the hill once you investigate that third clue you're going to want to continue west over that ridge you guys will see that there is a marshy area there uh, a swampy area the fox is in that marsh uh, and like i said he's got a white fur coat you won't be able to miss him if you just sneak down there he is very quick so if you spook him he'll run away and, uh, and he's very fast, so you don't want to have to track him down multiple times. So uh, I think that I accidentally shot a little bit too early. It took me three shots to kill him overall, and I think I missed the head once. So I shot him in the back of the neck, I believe, and it took me about three shots. As you guys will see, I hit two, knocked him down. He got up and started running again, and then he collapsed, and I hit him for the third shot. So uh, it took me three. It should probably only take you guys two if you, if you get a headshot both times. Obviously, I was a little far away when I started shooting, but... Um, again, I would recommend using Deadeye just because of how quick he is. You don't need a lot of it, but uh, again, you know, white fur coat, he's, you know, he's not going to go far. You're definitely going to be able to find him. But anyway, guys, that's for the video. If you guys have any questions, if you're having trouble finding him, maybe you're having trouble tracking him down and killing him, make sure to leave a comment. I'll, I'll try to help some of you guys out. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?